Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, part 47 of this uh, Johan Fury build that I'm working on. Uh, as you can see, I've got everything kind of taped up right now. I don't want my hinges to fall out. Uh, but some things I've been working on. You see, I've got the rear bumper taped in place. We've got a real nice uh, flush fit up here with the, the trunk lid and the bottom of the body. Our exhaust pipes. Got a nice reveal down there. But one thing I have been working on, and I'm, I, I do believe I'm finally finished with this damn trunk, was I made some, uh, well, what I did was I recessed in the taillights. Let me grab one here. When they get glued in, it'll look something like that. And you'll notice the blue stripe. I just highlighted that so I could uh, I could make it this visible because with all the uh, with all the white styrene, it's kind of hard to see. But what I what I tried to do was I tried to replicate. Uh, exactly what's going on here. Uh, the tail light is inside this little box, so to speak. And then the blue that I've highlighted is trying to replicate the weather stripping around the trunk lid. And I tried to I tried to get that pretty much as, as close as I could. It's not perfect, but I think it's, uh, you know, it's going to be all right. And then another thing we did was, see if I can zoom in here to this picture, is I made our little uh, latch plate for the trunk when it closes. I also replicated that. I did that out of a just a small little piece of paper clip and a couple of push pins. And then the final the final tidbit was I made cut a piece of styrene to cover up this gap here between the bumper and the tailgate. As I believe, you can't really see it, but it is in here. So that when we go to glue all this up, you won't you won't see the ground. Let's see if I can back out here a little bit more. There we go. You won't see the ground. You'll just see this will be painted. Um, I don't know, probably the cream color since I'm doing Florida car on this. But all this is supposed to replicate our weather stripping going around. I've got it all the way up to here. But when we get the trunk on, I got my hinges taped up in there so I don't drop them on the floor and lose them anymore. We're, we're, still, we're still good. And then our tail lights will, will fit right in there. Then I, I did have to modify the, the kit tail lights a little bit. I I sanded the, the top, bottom, and the back off so that it would recess in there. Let's see if I can pick this up without it falling out. Just like that. Well, it's not quite over where it needs to be, but you get the ideal. See if I can get the trunk on here. The lid. Nope. It keeps falling out, but you know, 
whatever. Uh, so yeah, I am, well, another thing with the trunk was I am in the process of removing the word Plymouth right up here because it's actually supposed to be down inside here on this panel. And I do have a decal for that. So once I get, get this all wet sanded out and get those, uh, the ghosting of them letters out of there, we'll put the decal in here. In this area right here, where it's actually supposed to be. And then you'll notice I did drill out the trunk lock hole. We'll stick a, a dressmaker's pin in there when we're finished. And another thing we did to give us a little more detail on the inside of the car is I made some sun visors for the driver and the passenger. Just made those out of some simple 30,000 styrene and uh, some 30 by 30 rod at the for the top. I kind of uh, canted the driver's back a little bit farther than I did the passenger side. And the glass does fit up in there uh, with them in place. Just a, uh, a a quick little little thing that that you can make for the interior of your cars that uh, adds, I think, adds a lot of detail to it. You know, because that's one of the obvious things on the interior of a car is the the sun visors. And then I added a piece of styrene to the back of the seat for a, what might be a piece of chrome trim, I guess. I got to do a little bit more sanding on that to get it get it down a little bit more. But the uh, the kit the kit seat did have uh, a, a line on it there, so I just wanted to make it look like a piece of chrome. But that's where we're at for now. The uh, the trunk is done. I'm not messing with it no more. Let's see if I can set this phone back down. But like I said, we're not we're not too far away from the actual car. It's it's close enough for shits and giggles. Uh, I did add some uh, water lines for the heater hose, heater hoses, I should say, to the uh, the engine. I drilled holes in the firewall for the, to receive those when we get that far. And one thing I'm I'm thinking about this trunk is I have this big old uh, booklet here of clear styrene that I bought from uh, Michael's, I believe it was, years ago. And in between each sheet are these little, oh, I don't know, they're kind of like tissue paper, I guess. But not quite as thin. And I don't know if you can make out that little pattern that's on there. See that pattern that's on that? I thought that would look really good if I cut that out. And glued that down all over the the uh, the bottom of this trunk, and maybe hit it with some really light thinned out gray paint to 
kind of resemble a trunk mat. Let me see if I can find a photograph real quick. And give you guys a, a visual of what what the hell I'm my silly brain's thinking of. Let's see. Here's one. I, I don't know what it's for, but you can you can kind of see that it it has a it has a pattern on it. As does this guy. So I'm 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 hoping and I'm I, I will try and experiment with this before it goes down to try to paint maybe one side of this to see how it does come out. But I, like I said, I do think you can see the pattern in that. And we'll get in, instead of just having the, the raw styrene down there painted, you know, at least we'll have a, a mat in there, so to speak. But I got, I have lots of this stuff. So I have uh, plenty of material to, to screw up if I screw it up. But that is, uh, that is where we're at on this Fury. Um, I believe my next step is uh, I will disassemble everything. I don't know if, if this will even make it on the camera, but right down in here, right below where the windshield goes is where my, uh, my styrene tube is for the hood hinge and I test fitted everything earlier. The, the windshield does go in and, and it clears. I, I sanded some of this out up here to make room for my sun visors, but, uh, the interior, the, obviously the, the dashboard glues in right here. So it, it has room to clear. So once I get all this disassembled, I believe the next step is to uh, get this body uh, ready for primer. And that, that will mean I still have to, I deepened out the door lines here on the driver's side. I haven't done it yet on the passenger side. I may be wrong. I think I deepened the passenger side. I haven't done the driver's side let me get my glasses on. Yeah, you can see how thin that is. And then I deepened them up over here. Just with the back side of my uh, number 11. And this all needs wet sanded. I need to get all this uh, trim area down here all nice and wet sanded. Get it all nice and smooth. It's dirty as crap still have some trim to do around the windows uh, get the flash off of it but I think my next step is get get this all apart uh, get it in the bathroom under some running water start wet sanding on it and hopefully get it ready for primer this weekend but you know Life happens sometimes, but that that I do believe is my next step. Once I get this in primer, I'll let it set for, oh, I don't know, four or five days, I guess. And then I believe I'll start attacking the interior, getting it painted, uh, getting things in there, get the dashboard in and painted, uh, get our, our radio positioned in there and start trying to finish this guy up. I have, uh, oh, let's see here. I still have in the box, uh, the steering wheel still in here, and the battery, the radiator, and that is pretty much everything I'm gonna use on this kit. Uh, for the steering wheel, 
my column, I need to make a, uh, a gear shift knob and a turn signal indicator. And I, I will make those out of some small paper clips and the, uh, the transmission shifter will be bent in a couple different directions so that when it's inserted into the dashboard, which that hole needs opened up some, you'll see the lever sticking up. But that's about all I got done so far. I mean, well, I jacked around with this trunk for a couple of a couple more days and then jacked around with my hood hinges too, trying to get them all lined up to where they actually function and everything clears on the inside. It's kind of hard to see. But yeah, we've done a done a lot of work on this so far. As you can see, all, all the white styrene on it everywhere. We've done the trunk, the outside trim, all the work on the inside, the, the wheel wells that we made for it. So, yeah, a lot of extra work went into this guy. Let's just hope now that I'm able to, to find the right uh, tan paint. I... Every photo I see of a Florida Highway Patrol car, it, it looks like a cream color to me, but it's black in that tan slash cream color. But we will see. I uh, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for, I got a couple new subscribers uh, today and the other day, so thanks guys for joining and subscribing. I, I hope you like what you see, and please uh, leave me a comment. Leave me a like, and uh, that's what makes the world go round. Well, we'll see you guys uh, on the next episode uh, of what we got going on here. See you later.